Hello everyone. In today's video, we will see that what type of question paper pattern and about the scheme and syllabus for PGT chemistry in KBS, Kendra Vidyala Sangatan. So here the scheme for exam for direct recruitment of postgraduate teacher that is PGT in chemistry. So it will be having a written test that will be for 180 marks and these 180 questions will be there. These questions are objective type multiple type choice questions and each question carry one marks. So here the duration of written test is given to be 180 minutes. So uh, what type of questions or what is the nature of questions will be there. It is having part 1, part 2 and part 3. In part 1 it is about proficiency in languages that is for 20 marks. 10 marks for general English 10 questions and 10 marks for general Hindi that is 10 questions. In part 2 it will be having general awareness, reasoning and proficiency in computers. So general awareness and current affairs 10 questions reasoning ability 5 questions and computer literacy 5 questions. In part 3 it is perspectives on education and leadership that is having 40 questions. Understanding the learner that is having 15 questions. Understanding teaching learning that is having 15 questions. Creating condensive learning environment and school organization and leadership that will be having 10 questions and perspective in education that we will be having some other questions like 15 plus 15 30 and 30 plus 10. So these three topics may be including 10 questions that is pers perspectives in education, school organization and leadership, uh, creating condensive learning environment, understanding teaching learning and understanding learners. So these will be having a 40 question set. Then uh, about your part 4, part 4 will be having subject specific syllabus that is of 100 marks. So if it is from uh, chemistry, chemistry bit questions will be there. If it is from physics, if it is from mathematics, depending upon the subject concern, uh, that many number of questions will be there. So 80 marks, uh, it is from a general part and 100 marks, it will be subjective based questions. Then after uh, the written examination, professional competency test will be there. The professional competency test is of 60 marks. That will be including demo teaching, which is for 30 marks and interview for 30 marks. The weightage of written test and professional competency demo teaching uh, 15 and interview 15 will be 70 ratio 30. The final merit list will be based on the performance of candidate in written test and professional competency test taken together. So final merit will be formed after uh, your uh, written test and your professional competency test uh, together. Now, uh, now let us uh, see that. Uh, uh, in part 1 that is proficiency in language what is there that is will be including general English that will be having 10 questions and these 10 questions will be from word power grammar and usage and reading comprehension what about in Hindi that will be including 10 questions that in Patan Kaushal, Shabd Samarthya, Vyakran and Pryukti in part 2 it will be your general awareness, reasoning and proficiency in computers, general awareness, current affairs 10 questions, reasoning ability 5 questions, computer literacy 5 questions. Third part 3 it will be perspectives in education and leadership 40 marks or 40 questions, understanding the learner 15 questions, then uh, understanding the learner it will be including uh, these topics. So the topic is concept of growth, maturation, development, principles and debates of development, development tasks and challenges. Next one is domains of development, physical, cognitive, socio emotional, moral, deviation, development and implications, understanding adolescents, needs, challenges and implications for designing institutional support, role of primary and secondary socialization agencies, ensuring home, school, continuity. So these are the topics for about the understanding the learner. The B1 is your understanding teaching learning that is having 15 questions. In this one theoretical perspective of learning, behaviorism, cognitivism and constructivism with special reference to their implications for the role of teacher, the role of learner, nature of teacher student relationship, choice of teaching methods, classroom environment, understanding of discipline and power, factors affecting learning, their implications for designing classroom instructions, planning student activities, creating learning spaces in school. 
then about planning and organization of teaching learning concept of syllabus curriculum overt and hidden curriculum principle of curriculum organization competency based education experiential learning instruction plans year plans unit plan lesson plans instructional material and resources information and communication technology ict for teaching learning evaluation purpose uh, types implementations continuous and comprehensive evaluation characteristics of good tool assessment of learning for learning as learning meaning purpose considerations in learn planning age enhancing teaching learning for processes classroom observations feedback reflections and dialogue as means of constructive teaching then about uh, four questions will be uh, from creating condensive learning environment that concept of diversity disability and inclusions implications of disability and social construct types of disabilities their identification and interventions concept of social mental health addressing the curative preventive and promotive dimension of mental health for all students and staff provising uh, for guidance and counseling developing school and community as a learning resource that is having four questions only so here then about your uh, school organization and leadership that is we'll be having four questions leader as reflective practitioner team builder initiator coach and mentor perspective uh, on school leadership instructional distributed and transformative vision uh, building goal setting and creating school development plan using school processes and forums for strengthening teaching learning annual calendar time table parent teacher forums school assembly teacher and development forums using achievement data for improving teaching learning school self assessment and improvement creating partnership with community industry and other neighboring schools and higher education institute forming learning communities two questions will be from perspective in education that is nep 2022 2020 curriculum and pedagogy in schools holistic and integrated learning equitable and inclusive education learning for all competency based learning and education guiding principle for child rights protecting and provisioning uh, for rights for children to safe and secure school environment right of children for free and compulsory education act 2009 historically studying in national policies and education with special reference to school education school curriculum principles perspective learning and knowledge curricular areas uh, and uh, school stages pedagogy and assessment then your part 4 will be your subject specific syllabus that is of 100 marks so when i uh, consider your subject specific syllabus include ncert cbc syllabus and textbook of class 11th and 12th how the question will be testing the depth of the understanding and application of all these concept at the level of post graduation so these are the areas like basic concept of chemistry then structure of atom then your classification of elements and periodicity in properties chemical bonding and molecular structure chemical thermodynamics equilibrium redox reaction organic chemistry some basic principle and techniques then your classification of hydrocarbons that is aliphatic hydrocarbon then uh, your uh, aromatic hydrocarbon then chapter is solution electrochemistry chemical kinetics dnf block elements coordination uh, compounds haloalkanes and haloarenes then about your alcohol phenols in ether and then aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid amines biomolecules so in this way so many uh, topics are there uh, for which we have to work hard so in this way we will come across that this will be the uh, syllabus uh, in chemistry for the kvs pgt examination